welcome back to another Train to Mold 4 video. This is Rex Tactics, and I'm going to be driving the service to F13 from Blackpool South to Ormskirk in the infamous Class 142 Pacer. This is part one of two covering between Blackpool South and Preston. So before we get into this video, please do make sure you've hit the like button, subscribe with all notifications on, and comment down below your favourite train or route in Train to Mold 4. So, let's get started. So let's set up the pacer as required with the AWS on. We'll open up the doors. Put the key and the reverser on. We'll have to put the destination light on because we are in a very bad storm at this present moment. We will set this to Armskirk, the destination blind. And we'll set the guard screen to on. We'll rush to the other side of the train. And set this to, to Armskirk. And we'll put on the destination light as well. Practically because in some areas of the boarding process for the train, passengers come into the rear doors instead of the front ones, strangely. Anyways, let's get our wipers going, because we are in the rain. Obviously when it rains in Blackpool, it rains quite a lot. We are using the Rex Rail Pacer that we created in the live stream not so long ago. It certainly does feel like a long time since I've done that live stream. And it is Reskin to be number 142018. If you want to see that live stream, it is under the playlist live streams on the Rex Tactics channel. This one seemed to have been dancing on the platform. No, no, no. The next station stop here. That's it. Squire's Gate. So before the pacer gets out of Blackpool South, I just want to take a really nice picture of the pacer leaving Blackpool South. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. So as mentioned, part one will cover between Blackpool South and Preston. Stopping at Squires Gate, St Anne's on the Sea, Ansel and Fairhaven, Lytham, Moss Side, Kirkham and Wesham and Preston. Of course, after part one, do keep an eye out for part two, as it might release within the week. Now it just depends on what day this video is going out, but I've recently taken a break from YouTube. Not a big break, just a small one to get the workload down from assignments in college. They are now down to a good level. Of course, Pleasure Beach on the right hand side. So yeah, now that I've got the assignments to a substantial level, um, I can make more videos. Which I'm, I'm happy to announce. I'm pretty happy to announce that. So we are bouncing along to Squires Gate. So if anybody does have this route, what is your favourite part of the Blackpool branches? Is it the Class 08 Shunter? The Class 47? Is it Blackpool? Is it Preston? Is it Ormskirk? Is it Kirkham and Wesham? There's some favourites out there for Kirkham and Wesham. Or is it the infamous Class 142 Pacer? For me, it was two things, Blackpool and the Pacer. Well, three things, Preston. We 
we seem to have a thunderstorm going on around here. I did put it into rainstorm and we do have dynamic weather so we'll expect the weather to change accordingly if it decides to. Uh, in one of my practice recordings it decided to around about oh nobody's boarding so we've got ourselves going early. Uh, when I did one of my practice recordings weather decided to change around my side usually it's around about Ansel and Fairhaven it's a nice livery this one of course I enjoyed making it as well the next stop is Send hands on the sea Of course there is the 1.1 kilometers the as well. Okay, that Okay, well we'll work for the 700 meters one. We will shortly be arriving at Send hands on the sea. There we go. Just past Send hands on the sea signal box there which you can go inside on this route I think there's about three or four fully refurbished signal boxes in the game that you can walk inside the rest you can only go as far as up the steps that's about it so here we are St Anne's on the sea The door's unlocked on the right hand side. That's a cone. Interesting. I would have been all too happy if they did. Bit of a tight camera angle there. The next station stop is Ansel and Fairhaven. So Ansel and Fairhaven, if I'm not mistaken, could be, um, along with St Anne's on the Sea and Squires Gate and Blackpool South, used to serve a branch line, two tracks, up to a station called Blackpool Central. Of course Blackpool Central does not exist today because of the beach and cuts. The class 47s with Mark 1 and Mark 2 coaches, including steam engines back in the day, used to come up and down this line. Now, Ansel and Fairhaven, as well as St Anne's on the Sea and the other stations, only hold one platform, with the other platform being disused. And it's usually around about Anstel and Fairhaven on trains from 4 where the weather can change. But as I mentioned before, it changed at most sides, so we'll just see how things go. But if the weather does change, it looks like it's here to stay, but because I've got dynamic weather on, things could change. We got a crossing coming up, so let's do our usual. Don't want to be overshooting the station. The next stop is Amsterdam Fairhaven. We will shortly be arriving at Amsterdam Fairhaven. I, I still think they need to fix the announcements on this because they seem to bring out the wrong ones 
you kind of have to time when you should do it. But other than that, the announcement's pretty alright. So I suppose it's around about now if we're going to see any weather change. But let me know in the comment section below, do you like being in the rain? Is the rain your favourite type of weather? Or do you just prefer to stay inside with a warm drink? It's a lovely screenshot, let's just get that. Wonderful. Perhaps I was a bit too far away for that. There we go. Everybody getting on? They just have so we can go now. The next station stop is Liverpool. As we watch this person go by. We'll have a little look on the outer camera to see what the weather's like. A little bit more. little bits of track that might have been pulled up. It's certainly falling down very harsh. So... The next stop is Liverpool. The next station stop is Liverpool. Should be about... Oh yeah, keep on forgetting. <coughs> Excuse me. We will shortly be arriving at Liverpool. There we go. So now that we're arriving at Livin, I would just like to take this opportunity to say that if you are enjoying this video, please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe with all notifications on. We've certainly made it to Livin. But there's plenty of people standing here. I wonder if they're going to get on. Yeah, they're all turning towards the pacer. That's fine by me, mate. You can see what I mean when it's saying the th wrong things at the wrong time. The next stop is off side. The next station stop is off side. Right, I'll leave it alone now. I'm now thinking to myself it might not work in the next station, so we'll just see. we go around this corner. I 
and a box has just randomly fallen in my room. Interesting. T so totally not related. Oh, it works. Yeah, totally not related to uh, what's going on at the TV at this present moment. That's if you're watching via TV. But yeah, quite freaky that a box fell on its own. Anyways, now that that announcement definitely worked, this confirmed that we have stopping, that we are stopping at Moss Side. Just putting a little more strength on the brake here. I was hoping the weather was going to lighten up by now. In one of my practice recordings, I completely overshot my side. Instead of being here, I found myself all the way over here. Look at the same car as well, and the same registration pl plate. It's probably thinking, not this time, hopefully. So you see what I mean with the disused stations that once used to be used? Got a sign here, trains Blackpool that way, trains are pressing that way. First time I'm going to rearrange the seat in a while. Watch this pacer go by the crossing. Wonderful. I almost forgot. The next stop is Kirkham and Wesham. Kirkham and Wesham. Off we go. 4.5 kilometres away. Let's do this. See the rain literally falling down in the middle window. Certainly got some tight corners around here, haven't we? Certainly plenty of lightning going around. As soon as we round this bend, we're hit with an 8 9 km speed restriction. Yeah, it's right there. It's a 55. Then we'll get 113, but not for a longevity of maybe 1.5 kilometers. It's it's not very far. Because then we've got 48 kilometres coming up. We'll start slowing down for this 48.
try and put in a little bit of step two before we uh, get to get points taken off us for over speeding. Uh, we won't get that much taken off us. Certainly not. We will shortly be arriving at Kirkham and Westham. Wonderful. And a class 47 going by with a large BR Blue logo carrying Mark 1 and Mark 2 carriages. I can't really remember which ones they are, so I'm just saying Mark 1 and Mark 2. I know it's for definitely not Mark 3. It's a shame with this version we don't have like the DRA box, uh, the uh, nice blue paint from Northern and all that lot. It's a shame. Would have really liked that, but of course it'd be the licensing. I'll just wait for that red light to clear, and then we can get ourselves going. I honestly thought that was a mistake in the reskin that I've just made not so long ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Cross over the lines. We're now going straight to Preston. You never know, the weather could improve around about Solwick. That's also where it likes to improve weather. Of course, we're not stopping at Solwick today, as we're continuing on straight to Preston. But we can head to the outer cameras to see how bouncy this train will really get. Change to this camera now. Solwick's coming up very shortly.
at ourselves slowing down for the 56 kilometers per hour speed restriction. Which I do believe sets us at 35. Maybe 40. Well, not when we go near the uh, speed sign. There's one thing a pacer is really good for. It's brakes. Certainly, certainly not the screeching though. That seemed to be a 35 there. But we'll go with 35. Oh. That's the first AWS Bing we've had since what? Setting up the train? Of course, I show you that this is definitely the era when AWS started becoming a thing. Requirements of safety systems started getting much, much more. Obviously, if you look at a modern day route like East Coast Main Line, we've got European Train Control System, AWS, TPWS, DSD, Vigilance, DRA, all those lovely, nice safety systems. Keeps ours and our trains safe. So, going into Preston Platform 2, as we've known since Kirkham and Wesham. Just gonna try my best to keep the speed at a good point. I know it's changed to 56 kilometers per hour, but Preston can be quite deceiving when coming in this side. I don't want to overshoot the platform. We seem to be having a little bit of lag. That's probably to low delivery. Say Leyland National Engine Type with that pacer there. We have another pacer in, but that doesn't seem to have a livery either. Well, that's okay. here we are we've arrived at Preston we've just under five minutes to spare so I hope you all enjoyed this video please do let me know what you thought in the comment section below leave us a like if you enjoyed subscribe if this content is for you and I will see you all in the next video